Welcome to a Canvas Conversation with the Conway League of Artists. I'm Penny Hatfield from the University of Central Arkansas's Outreach and Community Engagement. We're going to start our conversation with Karen Freeman, who is the president of the Conway League of Artists. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Conway League of Artists. The Conway League of Artists has been here for about 50 years. We still have some of the founding members and we meet uh, once a month on the second Tuesday evening at the Faulkner County Library. We try to give opportunities for the artists in, in the area to show their work, maybe sell their work. So we work with Art Walk downtown and UCA uh, and give them opportunities. We have uh, a scholarship fund that we give to a young UCA student. Okay. Uh, art student uh, each year and we have programs and workshops and uh, mentor programs so we try to fill in all the holes. It sounds like you do. So one of the things that I, I notice I see work by the Conway League of Artists at the library mm -hmm. or maybe I've seen it at um, what used to be AMC downtown. Right. Most of that has been paintings but I think you probably have artists that work in other mediums as well. We Is that do. correct? We do. We try to open it up to everybody. So we have collage artists and we have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we have um, artists in different mediums like uh, pastel and and the charcoal, and we also have woodworkers. Okay. We, we have uh, a father and son who do beautiful woodwork, and we're open to everybody, so okay. we're looking for people in, in different uh, mediums, yeah. And you're a potter, is that correct? I'm a painter and a potter. A painter and yes. a potter, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to decide what you want to work on? I, yes, it, it, and it's so funny, it depends on the weather maybe. If it's a sunny day and, a, and the light's good, I'll do painting. Okay. If not, I'll go up and do some pottery. Okay. Yeah. What do you like one or the other better? Oh, I couldn't tell you that. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know. Um, but for both of those, do you do you go in or do you sketch out an idea about what you want to do and then try to recreate it, or how, how does one? Start? I do well for painting. I do a preliminary sketch. I okay. sure do. I, and I work from photographs you know, that okay. I've taken, you know, uh, in different places in pottery you have an idea about what shape you're going to go for. You don't do any preliminary sketches or anything, but then you go for it and sometimes the clay tells you what it wants to, to okay. be. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, is most of your pottery utilitarian or is it, you know, just for home decor things? Uh, about half suggest, and half. But yeah, half and half. I do a lot of bowls and, uh -huh. and things like that, but I also do a different kind of pottery uh, for just art's sake. Okay. Just because it's a fun shape or uh -huh. texture. Mm -hmm. And what about, are, is there anything that you will incorporate in the clay? I am doing some horsehair pottery right now. So okay. I take some white clay and uh, burn horsetail pieces in it and it curls and makes a beautiful black mark on the white clay. And it's real fun. How did you, how did you start doing something like that? I saw some out in the west, in the southwest, oh, and I just uh, thought that would be really great to try. Oh wow, I'll bet it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, it, um, is it hard to find the horse hair? I've got six horses in my neighborhood okay. who have donated their, their pieces of their tails. I'm almost out, so I've got to go and ask for some more soon. Well, you're living in the right neighborhood. I am, <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's great, Yeah, that's great. So this exhibit is going to feature several different artists, is that correct? Yes. We'll have um, as many as five working back uh, in the UCA downtown uh, gallery. And then we, the show will have maybe 25 painters who put their, their work here too. And will that be available for sale? Yes, Some of absolutely. It? Almost all of it will probably be for okay, sale. Great. Sure. So for those of you who don't know, the art will be on exhibit from November 16th until December 16th here at UCA downtown on Oak Street. The gallery hours are Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from noon to 5 p.m. But in addition to that, on November 13th, which is the downtown Christmas open house, we will have some folks from the Conway League of Artists mm -hmm. here from, I think it's 1 to 4 p.m. Um, and their, their wares will be for sale as well, They probably. will, they will. Have some watercolorists and some oil painters and um, all kinds of different mediums for sale. And you know, those are such great Christmas presents. I mean, we all get so much 
stuff, stuff that we can't use or we maybe re-gift. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> not that I would know anything about that. No. Um, but um, or that we give away to somebody else. And these pieces are so wonderful. They're well, they are because they're made from your neighbors and your exactly. friends right here in your own community. And I, I love to see people, when I walk into somebody's home, to see some original art there. And and, and they're unique. That's exactly what I was yes. going to say. They're unique. They're yeah. original. It's mm -hmm. not some, but something that somebody else can go down to a big box store and yes. purchase and have one exactly like it Absolutely. in your home. Absolutely. Unique. You have a piece that is unique to you. That's right. And we really, really love some of the uh, area stores who are letting us put our unique individual art in their stores and uh, we appreciate that very much. One of the things that I really appreciate about Conway is I feel like the local um, folks really support one another, whether it's mm -hmm. um, the bakers or the clothes salespeople or the artists. Mm -hmm. And I think that's great that, mm -hmm. that that happens. One other thing, and you mentioned this, but you also participate, you'll be participating in the Art Walk, which will be December 2nd. Mm -hmm. um, and it will be from 5 to 8 p.m. Again, um, right. art will be here from the Conway League of Artists mm -hmm. at UCA downtown. Right. We're looking forward to that. Uh, we'll have quite a few artists here, and I, I sold some art in the last one on, was it just last Friday night? Yeah, I was gonna and say And I had a great Friday, time yeah. meeting people and uh, meeting other artists and selling some pottery. So and was, Art Walk is great. It, even it is. if you don't buy anything, it's fun to get out to, mm -hmm. see, to see the art mm -hmm. um, that's in Conway, and again, shop locally. <laughs> We do have another visitor from the Conway League of Artists who is Sterling Morton. And, and tell me about the art that you do, Sterling. I do mostly woodworking, but I integrate ceramics and I integrate uh, stained glass and leather. And just, you know, I leave sometimes rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so you told me a story earlier that I'd really like for you to repeat about how you got started with this. Oh yeah, uh, I started, oh gosh, when I was a kid. And um, I built little wooden airplanes out of two by fours and whatever was available uh, on my grandfather's uh, circular saw and whatever hand tools were available. And uh, so I went to college and graduate school and after that I had an opportunity to get back into it mainly because I needed some certain piece so I would machine out a piece and I had access to a mill and so uh, it just slowly evolved back into woodworking again. and. Uh, trying to get that, that worm that's in your head that needs to be creative out mm -hmm. into a, a tangible piece. So when you got back into it, did you realize how much you'd missed it? I did. Did you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> and wondered yeah. why maybe you hadn't started sooner? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> do most of your, do you sell most of your pieces? What do you, what do, you do with your work? Uh, you know, oddly enough, a lot of it gets given away. Um, you know, somebody will have a birthday or, a, you know, the, we had a, a, a wedding in the family and so that and piece ended up and, uh, you know, I built cabinets for relatives and that live in Texas and so a lot of it gets given away. I try to sell what I can. But, you know, as Karen and I were talking earlier, those gifts are so wonderful <laughs> because yeah. they're unique and they mean something because you made them. Yeah. And so that means something to that couple that that has that wedding gift for you mm, or yeah. someone who has a birthday gift or, or whatever. That's so right. yeah. that is so wonderful. And also when it's a bespoke piece, um, you can add things to it. Like one of the things that I like adding in, in, in pieces is a trifoil window with a, oh. a gilt cross inside the trifoil window. And you're not going to get that at Ikea, Ikea no. excuse me. You're not yeah. going to get that there. No. But, so that's, that's, you can add things like that that mean a lot to the person that's receiving the gift. Absolutely, absolutely. How long have you been involved with the Conway League of Artists? Um, you know, oddly enough, uh, COVID kind of mm -hmm. shut everything down for a couple of years. So yeah. uh, about a year before that and up to now. What so brought you to years. them? Um, you know, I'm, my mother belonged to the Conway League of Artists oh. way back then. She's a, an oil painter. Okay. And so I've always known about them. Mm -hmm. And this was my opportunity to, to meet other artists mm -hmm. and to talk and have camaraderie and friendship. And yeah. well, there you are. It's, it's kind of a way to get um, yeah. to talk about ideas yes, and yes, yes. what works and sometimes what doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I learned uh, from Karen automatically, uh, you know, how to take a, a, a form, a cylindrical form. And that's kind of one of the things that I'd like to get into is some wheel throwing and, okay. and integrate wheel throwing into wood. And one of the wow. pieces that I made is, is 
you know, you think of a box, you know, a lot of things that I make are wooden boxes. Well, you can turn a wooden box into a cylindrical form and it kind of becomes abstractly a box. But if you integrated a ceramic form into a wooden form, and, and when I saw her horsehair piece, I immediately mm -hmm. saw wood surrounding the mm -hmm. horsehair piece. Yeah, that wow. would be cool. Okay, what about your mother's painting? Has that influenced you? Uh, oh, absolutely. I mean, how, how, can, you, how can you not have uh, parents that, that have a very creative side? My father's an engineer, my mother is okay. more or less a housewife. And, uh, you know, to have that artistic influence when you're growing up and being able to go to the theater and see um, galleries mm -hmm. when you're growing up, I think very much improves, uh, you know, your lifestyle, both growing up and as an adult. So. Yeah, and it just, just widens yeah. your horizon. It does. Yeah. So it's, just, yeah, it's important. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so are you going to be having some pieces in the upcoming show? Uh, I would like to find some way to do it. I have some ceramic pieces that I'll, I'll try to put in. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll have to <laughs> get the kiln warmed up. <laughs> you can do that. I you can, can do, do that. You can, you can warm up that kiln, no yeah. problem. You can warm that up, yeah. Yeah, that would be fun to do that. Oh, and I, I think so. And it would be, I love the idea of incorporating wood and ceramics and I'm looking forward to seeing how you do that. A lot of woodworkers see only one media that they can use. Mm -hmm. and, and to add glass to wood elevates both the wood and the glass. Yeah, absolutely. So where do you get your wood? Uh, it's a, a supplier in Little Rock called okay. Lestein. Okay, um, okay. That's mainly where I get it. A lot of times I'll be able to get wood because somebody has, has, has cut a tree down. Okay. Um, and if I hear of anybody that has black walnut, I will jump on that. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's it's uh, not easy to get, you know. It's yeah. it's abundant, but it's not easy to get. Yeah, they don't have it at Lowe's. Th that's true. <laughs> well, th I know that's the reason I'm thinking. Where do you get it? They don't, they don't have it at Lowe's. So where does a, where does one get it? Great. One one of the pieces. Uh, well, we received a, a load of of uh, walnut from a local sawyer, uh, and he took the prime pieces out, and I got the pieces that have the knot holes and that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But that's fine because you know you can work with the knots or you can cut the knots out. Okay. And right now I'm working on a piece that there was a knot that led to a crack. Oh. But that crack has, and, and the wood surrounding the crack has uh, what I call them are fairies, but it's, it's the, the undulation of the wood oh. creates ripples and, and um, I, don't know, I can't even really describe how, how it looks. It's, it's an astonishing visual. Mm -hmm. And what I do is book match, which means you cut the piece of wood in half and then okay. lay it like that. And what you have are two mirrored pieces. Mm -hmm. So if there's a lot of figure in this, it'll immediately go into that piece. Sure. And when they're perfectly joined, you can't really see where the joint is. Oh, wow. And so you have this display, uh, this, this uh, magnificent firework of wood. Wow. And to put that into a piece. Is, yeah. is really special. It just really enhances the it character does. of it. It does, yeah. Oh, that's and, exactly it. It's character. You know, that, that, oh, wow, that's fascinating. I'd love to see that. that but it's, it's one of the things how you treat the crack. Mm -hmm. That's one of the, the things that experience gives you is your ability to take what is a disaster and work with it and turn it into a feature. All flaws are not necessarily <laughs> flaw. flaws. They're yeah, sometimes right. a feature. A feature. If you can turn them into that. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. Sure, thank you. Thank you for joining us for a Canvas conversation with the Conway League of Artists. We hope that you will join us at UCA downtown to see their work. It will be on exhibit from November 16th through December 16th. November 13th will be the Conway Downtown Christmas Open House. We will be open from 1 to 4 p.m. And of course, we've got the December Art Walk, the first Friday in December. We look forward to seeing you at UCA downtown and enjoy the Conway League of Artists exhibit.